Hello guys, Adam here. So we've had a bit of a heat wave here in the UK this last weekend just gone and the weather's picking up generally now as we're getting into summer. And this, this is obviously really nice for someone who films weddings every weekend. Um, the nice weather means that we're going to get to spend more time outdoors at these weddings. There's going to be more outdoor ceremonies. There's going to be more time spent outside in general, which is which is lovely, you know. But the Sony mirrorless cameras do have a tendency to, to heat quickly and potentially overheat. If you are in a warm environment, if you're um, if it's a hot day where, wherever you are in the world, if you if you live in a warm climate or you're at a destination wedding and you're filming continuously for a ceremony, for example, or you're covering some kind of event and you're recording continuously for a you know a period of time, the cameras are going to start to heat up pretty quickly. For the most part, it's not an issue here in the UK. Gosh knows how other countries' hot of climates manage week in week out. Um, but where, wherever you are in the world, it's something that you should be aware of and it's something that you should be prepared for on the day so that you can control the situation should this happen. The Sony cameras have a little um, temperature like warning icon that comes up and if you're seeing that for the first time mid-event, mid-filming a ceremony, that, that's when you're going to be running into some issues because um, if you're not equipped to deal with that situation, then you're going to have a problem. And so I just want to share with you a couple of little hacks, a couple of little tips that will help to cool your camera down. It's, it's not a foolproof fix, um, but they are little hacks, real situation hacks that you can implement straight away that will make a difference and hopefully cool your camera down enough to give you time, you know. This is my Sony camera. This I, I shoot on an A7S Mark II. This is my camera that I use for weddings. Now, the major heat source is a, the main heat source in the whole camera is the battery. That is obviously the thing that's powering the camera, that's going to heat up quickly and that's going to, obviously being in the camera, is going to spread heat around the camera. Um, your other main hot point is the LCD screen at the back. If, this is, if you have this on, this is generating a lot of power itself as well. Um, so when you've got that generating heat, and this generating heat is spreading a lot of around a lot around the camera and this is where after I, I, I shot a wedding in Spain a few weeks ago and I was it was the middle of the day I had my camera set up on a tripod just in the blazing sun it wasn't in the shade and I probably got about 20 minutes of recording time in 1080p um, before before the warning came on and it, it started to overheat um, and obviously, luckily, I was I was nearby and I was able to sort it. But you're probably looking about 20 to 30 minutes of recording time. If you're shooting 4K, half that maybe, 15 minutes. Um, I don't know for sure. And it's mostly down to the battery and this this panel at the back. The one really simple thing that you can do, if you have this on a tripod or a monopod or you're shooting handheld, however you're doing it on a gimbal, if you just open the the door at the bottom that is going to let a lot of the heat that's generated from the battery spill out because with the door closed it's kept in the camera. If you just simply open the door that is going to make a, a difference and it's, it's surprising how such a little thing can can make a difference but it, that will help to cool it down. If you know you're going to be shooting for any length of time and it's hot I would suggest just leaving this open from the, from the get-go rather than wait until it's really hot and then try it. It, it should make a difference if you open it um, mid filming, but m if, if it's already hot, the damage is probably already done. Um, you're best just leaving it open, I would say. The other hot point that I mentioned is this, the LCD screen at the back. So, with that flat to the camera as it is now, that's generating a lot of heat that's getting pushed into the body. If you just pull this up and away and have it as far away from the body itself as you can, then this heat source is from the actual camera body. So, that's going to make a difference as well. Obviously, the battery being the main source of heat, I would suggest having a spare battery on you, just in your pocket, so that give it 10-15 minutes of recording, and if it starts to feel hot, or if you do get that warning sign on your camera, then you can stop recording straight away, swap the battery out and hit start recording again. And just having a fresh battery in there that's cool, that's been in your pocket, that will instantly just chill the camera out, cool it down a bit and, you, and you're starting again then and, and then that battery will start to heat up but it gives you that gives you a bit more time so just having an extra battery ready to go and taking the hot one away straight away that will make a difference. The other thing you can do obviously is use an external battery and you, and you can take 
the battery then to the tripod and have it hooked up to the camera through a wire. So that's going to take the heat source completely away from the camera. Aside from this, external battery packs are a must for me at weddings and I, I will, I'll link the one that I use below uh, in the description. I'll, I'll leave a link to the one that I use because it's a fantastic battery. Now the obvious thing to say is, it, where possible, keep your camera in the shade. If, when you're not using it, keep it covered, keep it in the shade, keep it cool. Um, you could have cool packs in your camera bag. You could have a, a, you know, cloth, a damp cloth that's been in the fridge that you can cover it with and keep it out of the heat in the cool, in the shade, in your bag where possible. If you do need to set your camera up where it's going to be hit by direct sun and there's no shade, I had this situation in Spain, inevitably it is going to heat up, but hopefully those things with the battery, the LCD screen, those will make a difference. But even then it's still going to heat up. So the only thing really that you can do at that point is maybe cover it with a, a white, a, a white light coloured cloth so it's reflecting the, the sun. You could put that cloth in a fridge beforehand or you know, a, a, a damp cloth that's been in the fridge or been wrapped around a cool pack or something like that and then you place it over the top of the camera, it will reflect the sun because it's white, it's light coloured um, but also it being cool, it's going to cool the temperature of the camera down. As soon as you're finished recording, turn your camera off, get it in your bag, get it in the shade and let it cool back down again so that you're ready to use it. These, these are real life sort of hacks and they do genuinely make a difference if you rapidly need to drop the temperature on your camera. I hope this video has been helpful in that respect. Um, if, if you are, if, if you're in a part of the world where it's, where you have, you're lucky to have sun every single weekend and it's always hot, then um, hopefully these tips will help with your Sony camera. If you've not encountered this issue before, then it's something to be aware of and just be mindful of. But of course, if you do have any questions, then drop them in the comments and I'll, I'll answer those. And if you like this video, please like it and comment below, let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you thought of this video. And if you're not subscribed already, I would love it if you would like to do so. Um, there's good for plenty more videography and wedding specific Sony video related, more videos like this. <laughs>